I gotta ask one last thing I wanted to add about the, the last video I just posted about um, YouTube Princess. She's showing different clips about different situations of women and men discussing about relationships. So this man, he has a podcast and he asks this lady, um, he's like, do you feel like it's right for a woman to nag? And she made a valid point. There's no, we try, women try to, we try to talk to you and you guys don't want to listen. Um, that's very true. Like, and I know that a man does not like a woman who talks about the same thing or nags or, or complains or argues or whatever. A lot of times when we try to sit down with you and have a decent conversation, even in like a calm tone, and you make it seem like you're listening, you make it seem like you understand, you make it seem like you agree, but then you end up doing it anyways, it kind of defeats the purpose. So we get to the point where, okay, I already addressed this so many times. I'm getting to the point where I'm not going to talk about it no more. So we, a lot of us tend to try to let it go, move forward, and focus on other things, right? Um... When we realize there's a, a situation about our spouse, it could be a woman or a man, whatever, it doesn't matter. When we notice something about our partner that is alarming, that can affect the relationship in the future, um, and we try to address that at hand and they don't want to fix that, and it affects them in a negative way later on, when they're in that situation where they can't get out of and they need you to help them get out of that situation after you try to warn them, um, a lot of times a man, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to try to focus on a man right now because men and women, we think differently. We're more, we're more, we, we, women are very more, sorry, I'm, a, I'm having a hard time speaking. Women are very much more emotional, as we as we all know. We're um, we're very much in tune with our instincts. Men are too sometimes. Um, well, a lot of times men are, <sighs> especially if they're like a loyal person invested into the relationship, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> So, but the thing is, like, a lot of times men don't think the way we think. So, um, some men do, but it's rare. It's very rare. So, the ones that don't think the way we think, a lot of times they, you think that they're not listening, you know? Um, so when they're in the pickle and they reach out to you because they know that they, they know that they need you. That's when they say, you know what, I should have listened to you, you was right. Um, I thought you was just um, attacking me, trying to control me, trying to change me. And I realized you were just looking out for me. If a woman, a woman who really cares about you is going to want the best for you. There's a difference between a, a person giving you positive advice that's going to benefit you than negative advice. If a person, I respect a person like, like a homegirl or something saying, girl, um, let me help you with your hair. Let me fix that outfit, whatever. Like, oh, you got something on your shirt or well, you got something on your face. You got something in your hair, like stuff like that. You know, I respect a person that, that doesn't want you to go outside looking like a fool. Like, you know, so I've been in situations where, um, I ain't gonna lie. I looked at people as as a, as a project, like oh, I could help them. I could. I was a big enabler. I could fix them. Blah, blah, blah. I I was just like, listen, I just want you to be the best version of yourself. <clears throat> a lot of people they can't tend to see that. They don't. They think that you're trying to change them. No, I just want you to see your own potential. I, I see. I see your potential. I see your worth. I see your value, you know, and I want the best for you. I'm not a hater. Like, I love seeing people, um, <clears throat> I love seeing people prosper. I love seeing people do well in life. 
I just found out Jim Carrey was homeless for many years before he became, well, even when he was on Living Color, he was homeless around that time period. <clears throat> Steve Harvey was homeless. He lived in his car for many years. Even when he was doing, like, stand-up comedy, he even wrote, um, I forgot the name of it, but he wrote jokes for other comedians and stuff like that. Then, just watch his story. There's a lot of successful people out there that didn't get there overnight. But even when times got rough, they didn't just give up and get discouraged. Like, if you have somebody that's rocking by your side through thick and thin, when times get hard, like, respect and value that person. Because when you burn all your bridges... Then it's too. It could be too late, um, which is unfortunate. But people have to learn from their own mistakes and um, the hard way. So this is gonna be the last video for tonight. I know I uploaded a lot. It's just that I'm the type of person. If I don't address it right then and there, I'm gonna forget. But okay, thank you.